In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A01 to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're gonna to show you how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A01 to your TV, and there's three things you will need to make this work. The first thing you will need is a Chromecast, the second thing you will need is an HD TV with an HDMI input, and the third thing is you will need home Wi-Fi. And we're gonna show you two methods to mirror your TV. Now the first method is gonna be completely mirroring everything you see on your screen. Um, and the second method is going to be just mirroring a video from a video app to your TV. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing you will need to do, make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. You should see your Wi-Fi icon lit up and you should be connected to the same network as your Chromecast. Now next you will need to go to the Play Store. Now, quick note, I will have a link below in the description. If you don't have a Chromecast and you want to get one, I'll have a link where you can buy one. And I also have a setup video on how to set up a Chromecast as well. Now, we are going to go to the Play Store, do a search, just type in the word home and look for this app, which is Google Home. And you're, you're going to download it. It's a free app. Then tap open. And we're just going to walk through some basic prompts here. Make sure you have a Google account signed into your phone. Press OK. You're going to hit next for location services only while using. And then it's going to take you right to this main home screen here. You're going to look for this icon right here. Now my Chromecast has a custom name, which is Michael Scott Paper Co. Um, when you set up the Chromecast, it will give you an option to name your Chromecast and you can have it something uh, generic like office or kitchen or whatever, or you can give it a custom name. So anytime you see this, it's just referring to my Chromecast. Next, we're going to tap on the icon, come down to cast my screen, cast screen, start now. And now you will see that everything that is on my screen is gonna show up on the TV. So anything I do is going to show up, okay? Now this particular first method is gonna be great for showing pictures from a trip on your TV, uh, showing a short video maybe you've taken on your phone. Um, if you wanna show uh, gameplay, maybe you're playing a game and you wanna show someone how you're doing something, you can completely mirror the whole game to the TV. Um, you can also show like a process of how to download something or how to do something with this method. Um, you can also show like uh, a video from a streaming app. This is not the best method if your goal is just simply to play Netflix on your TV, but I'm gonna show you anyway how to do it first and then I'm gonna show you a better method after this. So let's say I wanted to show this video on the TV. So I would simply hit play and I'm gonna tap on the screen and tap on the little square in the corner here and that will allow me to play that video in full screen on the TV. So it shows, the problem is now I can't use the phone to do anything. If I try to switch to my messaging app or the internet, um, it's gonna show on the phone and on the TV, which is frustrating. So uh, I'm gonna show you another way if your main goal is to simply play a video from your phone, maybe you're trying to watch a movie or something. If your goal is to do that, this method will be better. So first thing we're gonna do, is we're going to stop this video here. And what you'll need to do is simply swipe down from the top of the screen and look for where it says casting screen and just take two fingers and swipe down. And that's gonna show you a disconnect button. Hit disconnect and it will stop uh, showing what's on your phone to the TV. Now, for the second method, again, all you're gonna do is open a streaming app. So it could be YouTube, could be Netflix, could be Hulu. Find the video you want to play and start playing it and look for this little icon in the corner. This is your cast icon. This is what's going to allow you to simply just send the video to the TV, nothing else. So I'm going to hit Michael Scott Paper Call. Again, that's my Chromecast. And now the video is going to start playing and you'll see it in a second. It's going to show up on the TV. There it is. 
And now I can go home, I can go to messages, I can go to Google Chrome, all while this video is playing on the TV. So this is again a better method for watching longer videos if you still wanna use your phone. You can still control the Chromecast from your phone, you can control the volume um, from your phone. This is gonna control the Chromecast or the volume of the TV. And then I can swipe down from the, the top of the screen here and look for this, use two fingers to swipe down. And now I can pause the video from here, continue to play it, I can fast forward, rewind, or I can hit this little X here and that will stop the video from uh, playing to the TV altogether. So that's it guys, that's the main way that you're going to mirror your screen to your TV. Now, a couple of things, now this phone does not support uh, plugging in a cable directly into the phone and then running it to the TV. So unfortunately you can't do that. The second thing is a lot of people will ask, well, can I just mirror my phone straight to my TV if I have a smart TV? Some smart TVs will allow you to do that, but the process does vary. This particular process that I'm showing you is gonna work for uh, just about every HD TV as long as you have that Chromecast. And so I always try to show like a method that I know that just about anyone can follow. So that's why we show you this method. So leave us a comment down below. Let us know if the video was helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Also, if you're on Twitter, follow us on Twitter at H2TechVideos. Take care and as always, have a good one.